Hey, what's going on guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to another episode of Ramblin' Man. It's day 9. Episode 9, we're here at the Passing Gas where we spent the night last night. In this little rundown city that we found, thanks to our mini bike here. Let's take a quick look at the map, see where we've been. Uh, here's where we started. Kind of like the snow biome, that was the first city we were in. Went to that trader island, explored this city a little bit here. Came up here on the mini bike in episode 8. And, uh... We're going to mess around in this city just for a little bit. We're right at zero, 0 It's not a major city, but we definitely have some things around here that I want to search. And then we'll continue heading up north when we're done with this place. I definitely want to head over to the factory, which I think is the first thing we're going to do this morning. Because next to the factory is an oil refinery, so there's a shit ton of gas barrels in there. And there's going to be a bunch more gas barrels in the factory as well. It's like we got some uh, blueberries growing there. Here we go. The factory is right down here. There's also a big building in this city that looks like a school. Uh, I doubt we'll get there today, but I would definitely like to raid that place before we leave this little town. So, first thing we're going to do is stop right here and get inside this little refinery. Right inside these garage doors here, there should be a couple of piles of gas barrels that will give us more than enough gas that we're going to need for quite a while. So, let's just get right in there. Here we go. Pick these up. Take a quick look around for some zombies. And just bust right in here. Alright, here we go. We got a sleeper right here. Let's creep up on him. Bam! Ooh, one hit. That's how I like it. Let's see what he's got. Alright, we'll take it. Can actually scrap the lead. Grab all of these barrels, and there's some more also around the corner here. Plenty of gas, dude. We're loaded up. Whoops. I mean, we got so many gas barrels now. Oh, sleeper right here. And he's getting up. Better grab these barrels before he hits them and blows us all, blows us both up. Ooh, where'd that guy come from? He might have came in through that door that I opened. All right. This guy's dead. That guy's going back out the door. Awesome steel. That's nice. I believe these are all locked. There's not much in this refinery. I think there's a uh, yeah, there's some lockers up here. Um, yeah, we can grab that hat for now. We can always scrap it for the leather. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna spend too much time in here. I do want to get outside though. Last time I was uh, at the refinery, a lot of you guys were telling me there was a there was a bunch of loot in uh, this. Let me get around Mo in this tower here. Not tower, whatever it is. With the green stripe on it. So, I'd like to get up here. Get on top of this thing and see what we're working with. Oh, and there's a hatch right here. A whole bunch of zombies trying to get at me. Alright, the hatch is locked. But what if we, uh... What if we bust open... This block right here. Uh, we got a ladder that goes down and a couple of crates down there. All right. Um, I don't know if we can make that jump, but if we, maybe if we bust open this block here, we could probably jump down and grab that ladder. Let's uh, let's try. Hopefully, not break our leg here. Whoops. Got a fault. Got it. Nice. All right. Let's get in these crates then and see what we're working with. I could just imagine zombies falling on top of me in here in this little less, little less room. Uh, we'll take that. I'm banging on something. I think they're trying to get into me. Ooh, there we go. Take all that. Now, how are we going to get back out of here? I guess we'll just kind of stair-step our way out. Pick that up. Drop one there. Pick that up. Whoops. There we go. And we might have to, uh, we might have to just pull our way up from here. I don't think we can, yeah, we can't jump onto that one. So we'll just pull our way up, and we might not be able to pick up all of these frames. Uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna lose one in there, that's fine. Alright, let's head over to the factory then now, and do some looting over there. Alright, inventory's looking okay. 
I think we'll be fine. Let's take care of this one right here. Nothing. All right. Um, let's bring a pistol down into our tool belt. And put the knife up here. Just in case. You never know, right? Let's uh, search some trash. Grab this gas barrel. Uh, I'm sure that door's locked. Oh, we can grab some uh, forged iron and some steel from this thing here. What do we got? More trash. Uh, we don't. We don't need any of that stuff. Uh, actually, we'll take all that. We can scrap it for the iron. Okay. Now, should we just bust this door open? Probably. All right, here we go. Another gas barrel. Dude, we got gas for days. Not even days. We got gas for weeks. Months, maybe. Sleeper right here. Bam. All right, we're going to just try and push through this place as quick as we can. Factory's kind of boring. There's not that much to search, like, considering the size of this place. Um, but we'll do what we can. We'll push through. See how far we can get. If we can get the whole thing done relatively quickly. Maybe we can hit up that school. See what it looks like, you know? Maybe even break in and uh, maybe even spend the night there. Who knows? And then and then finish raiding it uh, the following day. Oh, we got a couple, uh, couple of zombies chasing us. Should we, uh... Should we fuck with these guys? Oh, we got another one right here. Oh, yeah, we should definitely fuck with these guys. Look at all these gas barrels. I gotta... I gotta put them on my tool belt here. We're gonna make a trap for these zombies. Let's get them... All three of them following me here. Okay. Come on, you fuckers. Now, if I put these right here... Oh, look. They're going... Uh, oh, shit. They're going for this opening right here. Can I get two in? Oh, it's a son of a bitch. And that other guy went for the entrance all the way down there. Here, put them right there. They coming? Oh, <laughs> oh shit, they both blew up. There you go, baby. Killed all three of them. A little sloppy, but we made it happen. That one, because one of them was like on the side that I was on. But he was a little bit confused. He kept walking towards his... Uh, his buddies. Both barrels exploded and we got uh, we got all three of them, so that's fun. Did we just waste some gas barrels? Yes, but was it worth it? Yes. Alright, uh, let's search what we can in here. I still got two gas barrels down in that one uh, doorway. Uh, we know the SMG already. So we want to go pick those two back up. Scrap some of this bullshit we don't need. We're going to put our frames into our tool belt instead of the gas barrels. Because we may need those in a pinch. What do we got here? More brass. Alright. Oh, we got another zombie right here. Let's take him down. Whoops. Come on. There he goes. Oh, it leaned up against the wall. Uh, we searched all this stuff. Yeah, where are those other... Where are those barrels we put down? Oh, right here. Bam. Okay, uh, should we get upstairs? See what we can find up here? Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Take the flashlight. You know what? We can actually put it on our pistol if we want. There we go. Now we got a flashlight on the pistol. Let's uh, bust in here. We got a gas barrel in a box, and I think that door right there leads outside. I think it's like a catwalk out here. Yeah. Nice little view up here. Alright. Um, what do we got? Another box. Uh, we'll take the oil. Maybe we can make some Molotov cocktails. All we need is oil, an empty jar, gasoline, and cloth. And we have all of that stuff. Uh, let's get down here. Is this, uh, that's unlocked. Uh, oh, we got a bird's nest right here. Some feathers. Great. 
We'll immediately turn those into arrows. Nothing. Uh, we got a little ladder right there. Alright, this is like the main building area. Which you've already searched most of all of this stuff in here. And, you know, I'm just kind of burnt out already on the factory. You know, it's kind of a boring place to loot. Let's just get out of here. Maybe we can hit up that construction site. And uh, work our way up there. I know it's dangerous. I've only done it once before. I know there's like a, there's a, a floor up there that's just full of zombies. But we'll do our best to be careful. And uh, at least that will be more fun and interesting than, than this factory here. Alright, here we go. And we're still doing really good on time, so it shouldn't be an issue to get to the top, loot all the crates up there, get back down, and find another place to spend the night. Oh, there's a dog right here. Oh, shit. Oh, damn, the gun is empty. <laughs> oh, I forgot to reload. Oh, that's okay. He's spinning around in circles. Oh, here it comes. Damn, how many shots to kill this fucking thing? Wow. Alright, wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Joe Bros Builders. This is going to be interesting. We could spend the night up there. You know, but I think we got enough time to get up there and get back down. We'll just It just depends on what time it is when we get back down and we'll, we'll just see how it goes. But first things first, there's a trailer right here. And, uh, whoop, got a biker inside. Just leave the door open, let him come out. Got a couple of crates up there. And plus, I think from the top of the trailer, you can get over uh, to a ladder. There's a ladder right here. And then, yeah, I think we can jump across there. Anyway, let's crack into these first, though, before we do anything else. Nothing. And uh, a whole lot of nothing. Great. Glad I spent my time doing that. Uh, yeah, that's where we got to get to. On top of this thing right here. Just, uh, this Mo waking up. That's fine. We'll just jump across. We're going to be doing a little bit of parkour in today. We get right up this ladder here. Man, we got a lot of zombies down here. That's crazy. We got Mo over there. I think he's the only one that's awake. And we got a whole bunch of sleepers. Four, five, six, seven maybe. From what I can see. I'm not going to worry about them. For a second, I thought maybe we should fight him first. Oh, shit. He's down. But we got enough zombies up here we need to fight. So, let's just... Uh, gonna make this jump here. Let's just get through this as quick as we can. Get up. Get down. Oh, that was dumb. That was dumb. I tried to get past him instead of uh, going back the way I came. All right, he's down. Grab that gas barrel. Finish him off. Got a couple of crates right here. Let's uh, make sure where our back is covered. Let's get into these. Oh shit! I don't have my my forged iron is in the mini bike, so we're not gonna be able to repair this fire axe. So we'll just use it while we can, and then we'll use our um, our stone axe, and we'll repair it when we get back down. Nothing. All right. Uh, let's come around here. There's the ladder. Man, this place would be pretty cool to turn on creative mode and flying mode and just build a building on this. You know, like, clean up all this shit here, but then use the framework that's already existing to kind of build our own custom skyscraper. It'd be a lot of work, even with the framework already here. It's a, lot of fr a lot of the framework is going to have to be removed anyway. There's going to be a lot of stuff that would have to get removed. Um, but it would be pretty fun. Be interesting. I've gotten a lot of requests to, to build Big Ben. So maybe we can use uh, Joe's construction site as the framework. Ooh, meat stew, man. Tempted to eat that right now. Look at that. 60 fullness. But it's the 6 wellness that I want. You know, all those points, and then it'll get us to full health. But we're already so close to full health, and we're not that hungry at all right now. We just ate a little something. I'm not going to waste 60 fullness right now just to get some wellness points. We'll hold on to that. Maybe eat it tonight or uh, tomorrow morning. Let's see what we got in here. Anything special? 
Uh, an iron door, or a heavy iron door right there. We'll take that. That's uh, That can be scrapped for either a lot of iron. I think you can put that into a forge. I'm sh I can't imagine why you couldn't. I don't think I've ever tried that, though. Or, you know, wherever we wind up staying tonight, if we need some extra security, we can drop that door in. Let's see if we could knock him off. There he goes. <laughs> can we get a look at his body without falling to our own demise? I don't see it. That was funny, though. All right, here's the ladder. Now, we're getting close to the danger zone, so... Need to just be chill. That says go. And if I remember correctly, this board's gonna collapse. Oh, no, it's not. Maybe it's the, the next one. One of these boards, it falls as you uh, walk on it. But if you run, you'll be all right, as long as you don't uh, stop. I think it's this one. There it goes. Yeah, see, you can run across it real easy. But if you were walking, or you you know you stop there for a second, you'd you'd fall and you'd be screwed. Oh, I'll take that! Good amount of wood, nice iron pickaxe. All right, this jump is a little sketchy. Right up the ladder, there we go. Here's another sketchy area of this place. You got to do it though. Um, here, let's see if I can get here and get a good look at that. We got some frames. Yeah, see? I mean, we could try building a bridge across to there. That would probably be the safer option. But, uh, I think it's just as dangerous to try and get out there and, and build a bridge when we can just make this jump here. A little nerve-wracking. And this is going to hold us just fine. Oh, shit. Forgot that there is some booby traps up here. And we can shoot that. It's not going to do any damage to the structure. There we go. That'd be funny if it if it did blow up the this arm and I just fell. Alright, we got a backpack right there. This thing, how many hit points is that? Yeah, we don't we don't need to break in there. I don't think so anyway. There might be some loot down there, I don't know. But for now we're just gonna search this backpack. Uh compound bowstring. What does that scrap into? Plastic. Uh Whatever, we're just gonna throw that back there. We don't I don't I don't want that, and I don't need the plastic parts either. Nothing on that side. Alright. Make this jump here. I don't know why when I have my axe I feel like I'm I'm uh I'm better, like I can better position myself. Alright, this area is pretty sketchy. There's a whole bunch of zombies. And they're tough ones also. So we're gonna try and uh like hit them and keep moving and not get boxed in anywhere. But, yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> this is, oh, shit. Another one right there. Man, this is crazy. Probably better off with the pistol. Jeez. <laughs> oh, we leveled up. Wow. Double tap. Is she dead? Now she is. I'm not searching any of these bodies right now. I'm just trying to, n oh, not get killed. Oh, yeah, I mean, oh shit, biker dude. Oh, we got caught. Man, we gotta, we should probably take out the weaker zombies first. Because if we're only dealing with like one or two. Oh, I think, I think she died. Oh, he's dead. Here we go. There we go. Let's finish uh, this military dude off. Dead. All right. Oh, we got another military guy right here. The biker right behind us. Come on, dude. Drop. Jeez, freaking stressful up here. Uh, let's see what you got. T-shirt. I think we just got the two more. And that military... Oh, where'd he come from? Damn, he came up real fast. All right. Military dude is gone. We're infected. We're really hurt. Let's just eat the meat stew. This will basically be like first aid. I mean, it'll get us real close to full health, if not full health, and uh, it also just bumped up our maximum health and stamina to 112, so that's really nice. And as far as I can tell, this biker dude is the last one. So we shouldn't have any problem finishing him off with the bat. A couple shots on his legs. That's probably dangerous if he breaks through there. Whoa! 
Guy's tall, man. There he goes. That's it. He's he's done for. All right. Oh, nice. First aid and a mini bike seat. Better seat than we have too. We can actually repair this. So our seat is at quality 25. So that dropped that down a little bit, but still better than the seat we have on the bike currently. So that's good. We can get right up here. Put all these crates, and there's a little landmine right there. We're just going to avoid that one. I'm not going to shoot it, obviously, because it'll do damage to us. So we'll just avoid that. We've got uh, plenty of crates to search, plus an ammunition chest. And then we want to get down into that uh, that area in the middle once we're done searching all this stuff. Well, not the best loot up here, but it was worth the trip. And that was a lot more fun than the uh, boring-ass factory. But there should be a hatch around here. There we go. Which leads down to this area. Now, the floor is going to give out right here. And, uh... Oh, shit. I forgot there was a zombie down here. Ooh, quick draw McGee. All right, jeez. He's dead. All right, we got a few boxes we can search. And then we'll pull our way up there. And there's some backpacks and stuff we can search up there. Ooh, an anvil. Not really, uh... Doesn't really matter to us, so we don't have a, a base with a forge in it. And we can't even build a forge if we wanted to, so. Anvil's kind of pointless. This isn't good loot in here, though. Alright, and from here we should be able to search all of this stuff. Without having to jump to the ledge or anything. Not, uh, not much there. Alright. Now we gotta keep going. We're gonna lose, um, we're gonna lose those frames, but it is what it is. Come on. All right. Um, yeah. Now we got to work our way back down. Which is always fun. Oh, that was close. This jump here. Um, probably should put a frame underneath me, but we just... Oh, fuck. Damn it. Oh, shit. I can't believe we just did that. I'm such an idiot. Well, I guess that's it. The final ramble. We rambled our last ramble. Son of a bitch, where are we? We're not that far away. Oh, well. Look. I gotta do permadeath series, man. That's just what I have to do. And I, I all these little series I'm doing now, I didn't. I never expected them to last long anyway. I thought, I thought we'd be in Alpha 17 by now, guys. We're not. So a lot of these series that I'm that I'm doing right now, we did we did Zombieland, uh, Billion Dollar Club, Ramblin' Man, Deshong Tower Survival. These are really tests for me. I'm just kind of testing the water, seeing what you guys enjoy, and just trying out some different some different things. Because then when Alpha 17 does drop, the ones that you guys enjoyed the best and the ones that we had the most fun in, I'll revive in Alpha 17. Like I get a lot of requests to do the Billion Dollar Club again, where we did uh, Insane Difficulty. Uh, and zombies always run on a random gen world. And the random gen world, what the seed was Billion Dollar Club. So, I think we're going to do that one again in Alpha 17. And we can always do Ramblin' Man again. But for now, I'm going to end it, you know. We just got to do the permadeath. It's just the way it's got to be. Um, when we get in Alpha 17, uh, and we start... We're going to do a normal series also. Like, no stipulations, we're just going to play the game, and I'm, and I'm going to do my best not to die, and I'm not going to be reckless and stupid. And then we're also going to do a series alongside that that will have stipulations, and we might start with the Billion Dollar Club, and then we might do something else, something similar to Dishong Tower, or who knows what. Uh, I kind of want to do a Badlands or Wastelands series, where we just have to spend all of our time in the, in the Wasteland, so... I don't know. I got a lot of ideas, guys. But for now, unfortunately, Ramblin' Man is coming to an end because I made a stupid mistake. I should have just used some wood frames. But I got cocky. I thought I could easily make that jump. And I fucked up. So I want to apologize to all you guys that really love this series. But a lot of you also are really liking Dishong Tower Survival and want me to post that game more frequently. So with Ramblin' Man out of the picture, I will be able to post Dishong Tower Survival uh, more frequently, and I will do my best to keep that series going until Alpha 17 comes. Plus, I got some other videos coming up that it's, that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm doing a special build 
that someone requests that I do, and we're going to hold it down against the hordes. So that should be coming up this week. Also, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all of the support. It means a lot. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more 7 Days to Die videos, and I will catch you guys in the next one.